Ian, speaking of D-pads and old devices that might be obsolete, you have another Kickstarter, Kickstarter number two that we're talking about here. It's the Modern Mallard. So what is the Modern Mallard? Well, Ian, the Modern Mallard is on Kickstarter. It's a simple kit for the NES video game Duck Hunt that makes it compatible with modern TVs. So, okay, we all know that, we, we should know by now, that modern TVs, LEDs, LCDs, uh, you can't use light guns, right? There's different refresh rate. Sometimes they have weird glass on top of it. You can't refract or re reflect the light back properly to register hits where you're pointing it. And I know we all love playing light gun games. I mean, I actually do. I do. I love light gun games. I love light gun games. That, that to me, was a huge selling point on the NES when they came back. Like, well, Atari doesn't have that going on. Right. Which is kind of surprising because all the Pong systems in the 70s had, and Atari sort of skipped past that. Yeah. Kind of, kind of weird when you think about that. It is. Clicko didn't do that, too. You think Clicko would have done that. But anyway, that aside, yeah, Clicko should have done that since they had the freaking shooting gallery game. Uh, yeah, I was going to say that. The carnival. They had standalone ones. Yeah. Anyway, so this is a solution to play Duck Hunt on your modern TV. It's a board that, if I have this correct, it's a board that you pop it into your your Duck Hunt game. So you open up your Duck Hunt cartridge. This is two parts. So Modern Mallet comes with two parts. One is a board. You open up your Duck Hunt cartridge. You take your original board and you slide it into this pass through basically and it runs into another board and you close your cartridge back up i guess there's enough room inside the duck on cart you can do there that. is they show a picture of it it fits just fine and that is essentially it's it's patch code in that second board and it pat it's patch code that i'm not even going to pretend to know what that does but it's patch code that helps the it helps the other part of the kit, which is a modification for your light gun. For your zapper. For your zapper. It doesn't require any soldering or anything like that. You open it up, you put it in the light gun. It's a little blue, elongated little board. Yep. And it fits in there with no modification or anything. It's a plug-in for, I guess, what's already existing there. You take it out and throw that thing in Yep. There. And you just strip the wires it shows and you pop them in. And that's that. So it looks all very easy to do. Um, you get that going and... Boom, it lets you play Duck Hunt. Which to me is a technological marvel. It is. It's 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 cool. I mean, there's there's no two ways around that. It's really cool that someone figured out how to do this. Um it's $129. Okay. And it only works for Duck Hunt. Or Super Mario slash Duck Hunt. Well, yeah, or Super Mario slash Duck Hunt. It works for all three modes on the game. Um so it does. It works for one duck, two duck, and uh, the clay pigeons. Sure. Um, it's, it's, anyone can do it. All you need is a screwdriver. Right. So no soldering, which is always great because I still haven't figured out how to solder, and it's been ten years. So I mean, it's it's a party trick, and it's a really cool party trick. It's expensive and it's limited. Limited. It doesn't look like it's doing super well on its Kickstarter. It's got. It's got uh, 15 days to go as of today. 23 backers. 23 backers. It needs 125,000. Now, 125,000 dollar goal. I, 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 I'm not sure if that's the minimum print run for their supplier. I guess to do to run these boards. That to me seems really high. But I don't know how this works. Where it comes from, who they got to do it. I don't know. Do no, you? I don't know either. Uh, and that's why the cost is probably obviously very high right? Uh, because of that. So it's $129 to get the game patch board, the zapper board, and oh, they gave you a little game cartridge screwdriver. Those are cents, pennies. Yeah. Nice. What sucks though is, so now that they have from, I mean, reading between the lines, now that I've read through this, now that they have this done, it seems like to me, it would follow that they could now go through not they made this like development environment they could go through and they could do this patch code for other light gun games well they have the most important they done they, they modified the zapper and right and they would not need to 
necessarily for future ones that they do include this light gun, the, the light gun portion of the kit. But unfortunately, they're going to need a different board for each individual game. Right, and I'm sure the board is probably much more expensive than the light gun one. It, it's awesome. It's, it's just, I, I don't, I, I, I could not even begin to say that they're overcharging or charging too much because this could be what it costs, and this is really cool, and I love the idea, but it's, it's it doesn't seem financially feasible. No, I can't even, I'm not even going to pretend to think, okay, what would I be in to this for eighty dollars, maybe with with the caveat that I can get other cheaper board passers for for the other whatever fourteen light gun games right. or so, maybe. But for one hundred twenty nine dollars, with no promise that another one of these games will ever be boards will be produced for another game, that's a lot of money. And there's therein lies the problem. They're not going to make more boards if this can't fly and. The modern mallet can't fly. fly. It's getting shot down. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, yeah. So I don't know. It, it's a bummer. I'd love to play wild. No. I'd love to play Wild Gunman on my TV, <laughs> or Hogan's Alley. Wild Gunman is probably probably my favorite. But hell, we can't good game of Baby Boober. Baby okay. Boomer is gonna be great. <laughs> can you make Chiller, Chiller. not suck? <laughs> no, Chiller is always gonna suck. suck. Can, can you make? Oh. If you did this for Chiller or Baby Boomer, make it so that you can have two light it guns uh, be able to hit the same time. Right. That would be it. That's what I was saying. Like, you know, if they're you patch- actually make the game functional. In that's two what I'm mode. saying. Like, if you can patch, if they're doing patch code. Anyways. All right, I'm in. 130 bucks for Chiller slash Baby, <laughs> Baby Boomer, Boomer mod. <laughs> Do it. So, so it's, a, it's a shame, though, because the, the, I don't know what we're giving it marketing now, but we're, we're not... We can give you we can give you press. We can we help with like with like like with like NES uh, Super Russian Roulette. We've helped with that. I'm not sure about this. I'm not sure we can help with this to get this going any any better that we're, you know. Then we're not going to get to the hundred twenty five thousand dollar goal. I, I like this. You it's know. very cool. I can't. No, there's a lot of time that goes into this. Yeah, and you know, maybe it's a manufacturer thing. They can't find someone a better manufacturer. I don't know to, to bring the cost down. The cost is just nuts. And for this amount of money, let's do some pat math here. How much is this each? It's one hundred twenty nine. Yeah. So we got to divide 125,000 by 129. Okay. 125,000 divided by 129. They got to sell uh, 968 of them. When you look at it that way, it's not a huge amount. No. Right? That doesn't actually seem that crazy. We, we do that, but it's the price. Right. I'm not telling you how to run your Kickstarter. It's a little too late. But maybe if you went half the price... Maybe you would have hit it yeah, but, easier and I sold mean, a lot more to make up the cost. Saying, you know what I mean? saying half the price, no, I, I don't. You don't I, think I, so? I don't, so? I, don't, I don't think you can do sixty dollars. I wouldn't have done it sixty-five. You wouldn't. What, no, what? I mean, sure. I, I actually, I probably would have at half the price, but I'm just saying that's probably not financially feasible for the project. But what if you sold ten times the amount, or even hit the? Well, now it's not feasible because you're not going to hit it. I don't know that you would have that. I mean, that's that's the thing. This is so the, to me. This is to, to me this cost structure is so whacked out. It's just so. It, it's such a specific thing that you know. We talked about the other another when we talked about the other um, Kickstarter earlier. That's so cheap, and the for twelve dollars and the print run plastic. is so cheap. I mean, it, yeah. it's just it's injection molding. Sure, yeah, there's a easy. price there, but the price you, is the, you done it. You did, the price is getting the mold. It, it's done. Once you get the mold done, the price is finished forever. This is a lot more complex. So, sure. I anyways, get it. I, maybe they have to, it's gonna be handmade because it's a small amount. This isn't like running off an assembly line easily. Very cool project. Very neat idea. I, I, I mean, now that we know this can be done, it'll be interesting to see this technology and see what, see where it goes yeah. and what it's used this is, for. This is the first step. Yep. We figure out the zapper. Now we got to figure out something to patch into the NES that it works on every Zapper game. Like, is there? Can you possibly do that? I, it, it, no. Well, who knows? But the or way they off. the way they've described it here is or this off. is very specific patch code for Duck Hunt. So, you know, it has to be done for each game as of right now. Okay. Well, it, it's cool. The ingenuity is there. It's just that the market's not there. It's like Shark Tank. It's like, how much you selling this for? Oh, okay. No one's buying that for that much. It has to be like twenty dollars. Sure. I, he's got to be a target for nineteen ninety nine for people to like. That's that probably honestly that probably be the cost where you could sell ten thousand of them, twenty dollars. But again, oh, what, I mean, sure, but yeah. that's just you can't you can't just do it. All right, 